Oh, I heard this game is actually a prequel to the original Deus Ex, made in the year 2000, I believe. Somewhere around that line. Detroit. Somehow a technological paradise now. Six months later. Well, that guy's surely full of himself. Lens made in Japan. It's kind of cool. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Uh, yes, Just yes, I am. Lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, this actually makes sense for a uh, why is David keeping the SWAT team for a HUD. Why we didn't have it in the uh, tutorial? We didn't have it because we weren't robots. Both cyborgs. Is this a motorcycle? Can I ride it? Can I be Batman? Can I be Batman with robot arms and robot eyes? Uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy X v VII. Never change, Square Enix. Never change with your self-promotion. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Uh, you yes. Yes, I did. Too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry. Your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be My fine what? now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Oh, you're a jerk. Okay, for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. If you've got a problem with me, just say it. Hmm. Well, if this were me, I would probably just ignore him. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here. I like the dialogue option and, uh... Inventory request. Oh, where are these? Can I upgrade any of this? Reflex booster, Icarus landing system. Ooh. Fall from any height without fear of injury. I want that. <laughs> I want to be able to jump off a skyscraper and live. Cloaking system, that sounds awesome. Can we talk to you for more XP? As enjoyable nope. As little Keep you up to date. You're not seeing me. I'm not getting caught on camera. Close you to the helipad. Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Jensen? Wow. I mean, uh, Sarah spared no expense putting you back together, I guess. Nice to see you looking so, uh, well, different. Damn, the million. Damn. It probably didn't cost a million dollars. 
Congress under pressure to re reconvene hearings. Florida Governor Philip Riley Meade used strong language today urging Congress to reconvene summit reconvene committee hearings on human augmentation and ended as a means to example the ethical and legal ramifications of human enhancement technology. The hearings were suspended six months ago after a terrorist attack on Seraph Industries. Among those killed in the attack was Dr. Megan Reed, one of the world's leading experts in the field. Hinting at a high-level cover-up, Mead said, I cannot believe one scientist's death has put an end to such an important debate. It seems a little convenient that the attack happened right before Dr. Reed was set to present her research. That does seem convenient. Speaker of the House, Gip Riley, has yet to respond to Governor Meade's comments. Extremist attacks, limb clinics. Liberty in mind and body- oh, that's kinda clever. Clinics in Chicago and Denver were ransacked yesterday by pro-human radicals intent on showing their support for Humanity Front movement. Humanity Front, publicly opposed to human enhancement technologies, has announced the act as unacceptable. Yeah, that's a lie. If there's a group and people attack in their name, they're lying when they say they don't condone it. Most of the time. Who are you? Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? We're gonna reassure. Only one way to find out. Roger that. We're not gonna be jerks. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. And let's look around a little bit first. Can you wait here? Make it quick. Every second counts. Jensen? What are you doing here? Adam, are you here because I wouldn't of have put two credits down on you ever walking again. I gotta say, if I was in charge of the architect of the future, I wouldn't make everything orange. Some stuff orange, sure. But everything? Probably not. Oh, the sprint thing is right beside the batteries. Do we run on batteries now? Where are you, Adam? You don't have time to mess around. Get to the helipad, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. So here. I'm going this way. I don't know what... I don't want to know what those pills are for. Oh, what's this? Pocket secretary. So, it's some stuff about drugs. Great. Good to know. All right, we have no further business here, I think. This fire extinguisher is coming with me and I can't move it for some reason. I'll be back for you one day, fire extinguisher. Don't you worry. Yeah, let's go. Great. I don't have anything better to do. Maybe. Probably.
I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? Nah, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us, but he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right, so how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Hmm. I'm not Let's looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. They won't. You remember what it's like wait, in they there? Wake up. A lot of tight enclosed hallways. But the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance? Or up close? Drunker layers a rifle, stun gun. Hmm. Give me something with distance. Give me the rifle. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. I am fairly the confident there's melee here. should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet Agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Alright, let's get in there and make a difference. Without the weapon, sir. Put it away, sir. Huh? Fine. You ready to go in? Good. Seen a few of them coming out for a smoke every now and again, so we careful. Menus, what about this? At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. Go on. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You Good can move know. inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon or change grenade type. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time. I only have the rifle. Good to know.
you on my side? Yep. Oh, I gotta go all the way down there. Great. About time you got here. This door will take you to another roof overlooking the loading docks. Best way in. Now hurry. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Good to know. Huh. Ow. Okay, fire hurts. Fire is painful. Stay away from fire. What was the point of this ladder? I clearly can't climb the chain link fence. Oh, oh, I'm just an idiot. Is that a bottle? No, just a. Wait a second. Oh, it has that emoji face. Good to know. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently by moving up behind them and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Okay. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anyone. <laughs> First stick down. You come with me. What do you have? Uh, you have nothing. Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. And a 10 millimeter pistol with two bullets. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. When moving close to guards, try moving slowly to diminish the amount of noise produced by your footsteps. Crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position. Immediately jumps. Anything in here I can use? Explosive barrel there, in case I want to get violent. Wait, what? Did people see me? Okay. 
Maybe I should have gone with a different approach. Okay, this is like Dishonored, except harder. The guards aren't actually blind. They actually took people to uh, see an eye doctor. Got them glasses. Ow. I made a mistake. Uh, this game auto saves, right? Oh, I really hope this game auto-saves. Where am I? Oh, all the way back here. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anything. Yep, no sign of ah. anyone. Once again, you're coming with me. 